Good afternoon friends. This video on one of the important topic of GST. If you are a taxpayer and you are not filing your GSTR3B under section 39 or you have not filed your final return under section 45. So you fail to file return under section 39 which is GSTR3B or final return under section 45. What department can do? What is the recourse available in the hands of department? Section 62 read with rule 100 of CGST rule based judgment assessment. Under this provision department going to issue a notice under section 46 which is GSTR 3A, if you are not filing your GSTR 3B under section 39 or final return under section 45 of CGST Act. Even after getting notice, if you have not filed the return, then the proper official to the best of his knowledge, best of his knowledge, on the basis of information gathered or collected, he can pass best judgment order under section 62 of CGST Act and this order can be passed within five years from the due date of filing annual return. Just imagine such a larger time period. They can pass best judgment assessment order within a period of five years from the due date of filing annual return. Yani jo hum due date badhane ki baat karte te na annual return ke liye. This period get extended jahaan jahaan ne extension liya hai for due date for filing annual return. Sari period ka ramification yahaan pe bhi date period extend ho gaya in the hands of proper officer for passing base judgment order under section 62 read with rule 100 of CGST rule. Once order is being passed then what is the option? As a taxpayer you may file your return within 30 days 3-0. If you have filed the return and paid the taxes then it shall be deemed as if that order is being withdrawn but interest and late fees penalty as applicable wo to aapko deni padegi now having said that this particular section 62 start with non obstante clause and this non obstante clause is very very important and you must digest that uh, section 62 with a rider that without issuance of so called notice under section 73 or 74 73 is the non fraud case 74 is the fraud case for non payment of tax short payment of tax itc wrongly availed or utilized or erroneous refund so without issuance of so called notice, proper official is being empowered to pass base judgment order, which is called base judgment assessment for the non filer of GST return 3B under section 39 of final return under section 45. Now the question which I want to deliberate here, department has issued one circular circular number 129 dated 24th December 2019 which is standard of practice SOP for non filer of GST return kindly check this uh, circular and this circular is saying department is empowered first to pass base judgment order without issuance of so called notice initiate recovery proceedings under section 78 and 79 
and even the provisional attachment of movable and immovable property is permissible under section 83 of CGST Act. That is what being stated in this particular circular. In my humble submission, I am of the opinion that this section 62 which is giving such a wide power that no so called notice is required I am finding it is going contrary. So it is helping to those jinke case may best judgment order pass kar diya gaya hai. What are the recourse option available? Writ petition. First, on the ground that the section 75 subsection 4 of CGST Act is stating Jabbi koi adverse order taxpayer ke against me pass hoga. I must be given opportunity of hearing, personal hearing. PH is required. For recovery under section 78, there is a specific provision that it can be initiated only after three months, only after three months from the service of the order. So it cannot be initiated spontaneously. Three months need to be elapsed to initiate recovery proceedings under section 78 or 79 of CGST Act and coming back to section 83 which is provisional attachment of movable or immovable property to protect the government revenue that is what the context under section 83 of CGST Act my humble submission that we have seen lot of legal jurisprudence on best judgment order, sometime it is being passed one-sided because it is being passed by the proper officer on the basis of information he has gathered to the best of his knowledge and which goes contrary having no substantiation. Such things need to be kept in mind that proper officer whenever passing such best judgment order he must give due regards to the fact and figures which he has gathered and collected. To the best of his knowledge should be substantiated and proof. It should not be used casually. Machinery provision, normal provision, no. It should not be used as a machinery provision in casual mode and manner. So base judgment I am finding lot of taxpayers are now getting order, base judgment order. How to protect? What are the way forward? And precaution. Please take care. Thanks for watching. Lot many GST update on our YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.